right, everyone, we are here in, uh, this is a little town called Provence, France, which is about uh, an hour away from Paris. But it's a little medieval city, as you can probably see the castle behind me, which we're gonna go inside. It's been really entertaining. I think there's like a medieval festival going on today. Um, and it's kind of great that they have their own little castle. <laughs> so let's go check out the city and let's go see what they have, because um, I'm curious to explore it. Well, we made it to the inside of the castle here and uh, we get a stunning view of what I'm assuming is like the church. So this uh, castle or keep and later turned into a prison was actually uh, initiated in the 1100s. So quite an old structure, probably like a, around a thousand years old. A beautiful region. The reason it was built here is because it's on a little bit of a mound that allows the keep or the castle to see the surrounding areas and to protect it, obviously. So the town is quite, uh, quite uh, I don't know how to describe it. Cute is not the right word. It's very interesting and beautiful to see. Uh, a lot of the, a lot of really old French structures. Let me give you guys a quick view. And that's exactly why we're visiting this town because it's this medieval city that has been well preserved and it's actually a UNESCO heritage site. Um, very, very interesting. So we came into this castle. I think we're gonna get a chance to go all the way up to the top and give everyone a fantastic view of the surroundings. But I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm here with Elisa's family, her cousins, her aunts, her uncles, and uh, they've been showing me around Paris. And now we're here in, in Provence. Um, it's, uh, it, I don't know, it's, it's a nice, and it's also a really nice day. The weather compared to Spain, where I was just a few days ago, is phenomenal. It's just very cool and refreshing. It feels great, I love it. All right, so we're heading into the main entrance of this castle here. And it is actually, the entrance is not that big. You can see that uh, it just barely allows me to enter and I'm not that tall. But uh, let's keep going inside. The room that we were just in is called the guard room and that's because that's where all the equipment for the guards that were guarding the castle were at and it's got all these windows so you could actually see all around the valley i'm not sure if you were able to tell from the low area but this part where i'm at is actually like an octagon and one of the things i read was that this is like this was like one of the first octagons that was encircled by the lower part of the castle and that's just a design in military architecture that was happening during this period so i guess that allowed them to get a much better view of the uh surrounding areas because you can see you can see all the way around here Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. But the width of my shoulders is barely enough to get me through these, uh, <laughs> this little, these steps and these steps are uneven in size. But, um, wow. Very unique experience for sure. It's very cool. Uh, oh, you hear? I'm gonna try to show you outside this window. You can see one of the cones from the castle here. But I can't remember where this leads to. But it looks like it's gonna be the highest area here. The ground is very uneven. Uh, all right so we're now in the uh, bell tower as you can see oh there's several bells i thought there was only the one but um in the lower room there was a hole in the center of the ceiling and if i remember correctly that was used to ring the bells 
Now normally you see bells like these in a, in a church, but I believe these were actually used uh, for defensive type reasons. But look at this. Look at the size of this. This wood beam, this wooden beam. It's all completely decorated in wood. Obviously I can't read French, but you can see here that this is, says Defense Absolute. <laughs> I think it says we're not responsible for accidents, but it also says, uh, uh, I, I think it, I don't know. <laughs> speak French <laughs> so if anybody speaks French leave me a comment below and tell me what it said but I'm gonna give you guys a great view of the um, of the bells here and another thing that's really interesting is the um, I don't know if you can see the ceiling or the roof the rooftop but it's it's all made out of these wooden beams that make it really sort of almost artistic like in the design of standing up this area I just noticed what they used to keep it all together. And it's these like uh, these wooden things here, but they're made out of wood. Okay, we're gonna watch Vincent try to try to go out this way here. Oh, this one is bigger, right? <laughs> yeah, this one is definitely bigger. Oh, yeah, but I, I still barely fit through it. Gotta be careful on the way down. All right, well, that was a little tour of Caesar's Tower. Very interesting from the inside. Lots of steps, <laughs> for sure. But uh, very unique in its own way. And I think from here, we're probably going to go to the church to see what's on the other side of this tower. Let me give you guys a quick tour of the inside. Quite large, not a lot of color or, or really stonework. It seems very um, plain isn't the right word but just not as highly decorated as some of the churches that I've seen so far in Europe. Having uh, what do we call? It's ham, obviously, but just like fried ham or cooked ham or how would you call it? Grilled ham. Yes, that makes sense because it was on the grill. <laughs> but anyways, it looks delicious with the French fries and the ketchup. And I'm here with Elisa's family. Everyone say hello. 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 Yes. Yes. Welcome to Paris. Thank you. So. Anyways, enough talking. I am super, super excited to try this ham and uh, I shouldn't be touching with my fingers. <laughs> but anyways, I already did, so I'm just going to take a quick bite. That is fantastic. guys well we had a fantastic little lunch there just ham and french fries and ketchup the ham was fantastic uh, as as to be expected I guess but I hear there's a parade coming so we're gonna go check out the parade uh, hopefully there's some fun things to see that I'm that I can show you yeah. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Tu vas plus à la messe, à sa voix. Non, parlons Une espèce de mécréance That was a fun little parade. Uh, it was cool to see people dressed up in their uh, traditional attire. Uh, my favorite were like the geese, and I don't know if you guys saw the people throwing the alcohol. <laughs> and, the, and the one with the grain, with the little grain machine that was blowing grain everywhere, that was pretty cool. Uh, the whole thing was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, but uh, there's some more to see. I think we're gonna get a chance to climb on the medieval wall or, or get on top of it at least and check that out for sure. I guess people here seem to be quite proud of their uh, of their tractors. We saw a whole I saw a whole row of tractors earlier. Uh, different kinds, models, brands. Uh, I, I don't know. I wasn't a hundred percent sure what to expect, and usually I come with a pretty open mind to any place that I'm visiting. So. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, it's different, it's new, it's a cultural experience, which I really enjoy. So now we're on the city wall and I've kind of gotten away from the crowd to sort of show you guys what this city wall would have looked like over here on its own. This is one of the, um, I, I don't know what the actual term for this is, but it sort of sticks out. You can see it behind me here. They stick out. And then here is the wall, and then we're on one of those same things here as well. I'm gonna give you guys a view from this side. Now I, I don't know if I don't know if there would have been a moat or you know water that may have surrounded this uh, the fortification, but it's still a really really interesting place really unique uh to be here in this small little town all right everyone well i had a great time here in provence france and don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys next time Bye bye, bye.